So we have been working with the National Flight Academy since the year after you guys first opened up. And uh, we've had wonderful experience with that because in JROTC, a lot of it is to give our, our young folks, our cadets, that opportunity and that exposure so that when they do graduate from high school, they don't just have a diploma in hand, they also have at least a general idea of what direction they would like to follow in life. The National Flight Academy is an academy that definitely sets itself apart from many extracurricular activities that I've attended. I had a friend that had done it last year, said she had a really, really good time and I would wanted to be able to go. So I sat down with my instructor and I said, I really want to do this, how can I get there? She gave me the packet, told me what I needed to do, went home that very night, completed everything, got my teachers to look over that essay, like three, four teachers, and went back, gave it to her, was hoping for the best, and then I got it. I believe the National Flight Academy helps apply a certain myriad of skills that could help me advance further into the United States Marine Corps, specifically on the ASVAB registration and on MOS selection after I reach out of infantry. I had a little bit of STEM experience from the Naval Academy when I left last year. Um, so when I came here, I was kind of expecting to hear the same things, totally different. Um, I learned a lot and I learned to work with different people, types of people and their reactions to things. The social aspect of it all was one of my bigger things. I'm not very social, but I felt very comfortable. We really became like a small family. We already got everybody's Snapchats and numbers. So when we leave here, we're gonna stay in touch. We're very goofy. <laughs> Anything that could come afterwards, even the very basic technicians of piloting X-12 TACB triads can come from outside help, but you can't get that outside help if you're not sociable. I love the Marine Corps. I like their intensity. I like how disciplined they are. And I like the honor and what, just what they stand for. You know, when you think of a Marine, you think, yes. Wow. So I just want to be a part of something a lot bigger than me. I feel like I think we have a, a guest. Oh my God. <laughs> Understand you want to be a Marine? Yes, I do. It's <laughs> nice to meet you. You would be a perfect Marine. Thank you. Half of it is wanting to do what you want to do. You know what your biggest challenge is going to be? My mind. Exactly. From here to here. That's your biggest challenge and thousands have done it. There's no reason you can't too. Well, I look forward to hearing about how successful you. you're going to be. All right? Oh, wow. It's an honor to see you it's here. An honor We're to meet privileged you. to have you. Wow. <laughs> I might want to do something like this since I've gotten my eyes open to it. I really enjoyed it. So I think that this experience will probably lead to an aviation career. Learn to embrace your journey. Continue doing the things that make you uncomfortable, things like this, this program that helps you just fine tune those qualities and the skills that you already have. Thank you very much.